Welcome to the channel. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Now, as you guys can see in front of me, I have the brand new Pagani design. This is the PD1766. Now, this is one of the only Paganis as of late which has actually genuinely excited me. That's because of just one main thing. It's because of the watch it is actually homaging. As it stands, the Omega Speedmaster 57 is actually my, by far my favorite Omega out there. Uh, it's something that I actually hope to acquire and I just love everything about the Omega Speedmaster 57. So obviously when I saw this release, I thought it looks really interesting. As always, Pony Design Pictures, um, the photographers are absolute magicians. They make the watches look amazingly good, uh, but in hand, as you know, it's always a different story. So let's see how good this PD1766 is. There is one thing that is absolutely amazing about this is the current price it's on. It's currently around 60 to 65 pounds uh, with the current deal that's gone on AliExpress, which I think is absolute crazy, incredible value for money. And this is where Pagani Design, this is their home ground, you know, in around this price mark. When Pagani Design start going up to the plus hundreds etc that's when we start running into problems that's where we're not as satisfied because they haven't been able to yet master things like loom and bezel rotations however with this piece in hand there is no bezel to rotate and the loom well we'll just have to see so the pd1766 is actually available in three different colors you've got a black with 14 style loom markers now you've also got a blue sunray or sunburst which i have here and you've also got a green and they're also able to give you this in a leather strap option or the bracelet one but i'll definitely go for the bracelet option specs wise it's got your usual specifications and it's crazy that pagan design can offer all these specs at such a low price point you've got a stainless steel case construction as well as the bracelet you've got a domed sapphire crystal however i don't think there's any ar coating as i'm finding there's quite a lot of glare present uh, on that crystal there is a bit of blue hue there uh, but it isn't really doing much for the anti-deflection you've also got 100 meters of water resistance which does include a screw down crown and a screw down case back but of course the pushes are not screwed down which is why you get the 100 meters so in terms of movement, it is battery operated, it is quartz, it's in fact a mecha quartz movement, the Seiko VK64. We are very familiar with that movement out there. And the Seiko mecha quartz movement is a very stable, very reliable movement. Um, this particular movement does have two sub dials. You've got your one on your right, which is your 24 hour indicator. And the one on your left is your 60 minute timer, plus the chronograph seconds and in the center. Now the VK64 does come with a date function, but as this dial does not have a date window, you do have a ghost position for the date. It doesn't bother me as much as it does on automatic watches. On the Mecha Quartz watches or the Quartz watches, I don't seem to be really fussed. Now moving on to dimensions, they are quite reasonable and very proportionate. Uh, and I know that's because of the watch they are trying to homage rather than Pagani design themselves. The diameter is 40 millimeters across. You do have a thickness of 12.4 millimeters. And you've got your overall log to log of 48 millimeters. Now that has stayed compact due to the female end links, so no protruding end links over there. Uh, 20 mil log width and an overall weight of 150 grams. So that is a fair bit of watch there, uh, even, it ha even though it has such a light movement. And I think that's partially due to the very long brace that you get. I mean, that can probably go up to maybe eight and a half, nine inches um, in terms of the wrist size it can fit. Uh, so that is good to see plenty of links there to be sized uh, and overall the watch does look good it feels good i don't feel any sharp edges and of course pagani design are no strangers to the style of watches you know they've done very popular watches uh, homaging other omegas in the past so this should be a walk in the park for them now let's zoom in and check out my favorite part and that is of course this dial uh, now i love that blue sunburst dial that they use uh, on the actual omega speedmaster and pagani design have done a fairly decent job of capturing that while i haven't seen that watch in real life um you can see the quality of the dial is actually not too bad um it's got a beautiful sun ray it's very even uh, and i do really like how that blue plays around so you've got hues of blue and black um and that's that's good you know i've never faulted pagani designs dials uh they seem to have a very good dial game you've got a mixture of printed and applied features um you've got your pagani design logo just below the 12 as well as the text and some white text just above the six and uh, you've also got your sub dials which do have these concentric circles uh, and Pagani Design, going back to the point about, you know, they do make good dials. I don't see any defects to this dial. Um, everything is machined well. Everything has been applied. Um, you can see those silver polished hands do stand out on those sub dials. The sub dials themselves are printed very nicely. That mini track is sharp, clear. Um, so there's nothing to fault here. Now, looking at the handset, you've got a fully polished handset with a chamfer in the center uh, on that main hour hand. Um, good reflection on there. And you'll notice at this close up, you can't see any scratches, any blemishes on those hands. Um, you know, they're pretty well cut. 
so again a very high quality piece i've seen pieces which cost a bit more and you know you guys know as well that the finishing on the hands uh, isn't as sharp and i think they've done really well on the dial if you were to go for the black option know that there will be you know, some ray on there uh, that's a bit more of just a flat or matte style black uh, but i really do like how this pops uh, it really does catch the light really well now on top of that you've also got this flat bezel which has been brushed in a circular fashion you've got these small markers on there um, and even though they are quite small the ink is really well applied they've been engraved beautifully just to allow the ink to sit in there i mean there's no no issues there no defects there no numbers missing etc i mean you do have quite small font um, and also with that brushed flat surface it does reflect a lot of light i think it really balances out the dial really well um, yeah so the execution is pretty good the bezel does go over to the side on a polished surface uh, it's like a stepped bezel you got polishing underneath as well uh, which nicely sits onto this case now talking about this case they've got those beveled polish highlights which i absolutely love as you guys know you've got very soft brushing on the lugs almost satinized i'd say it is satinized brushing and then you've got nice satinized brushing horizontally across the side of the case beautifully done so this is a very high quality case from pagani design um the pushers themselves you know just normal polish there's nothing too special about there the crown is a decent size it's just above six millimeters but the crown is quite gritty it's not very smooth at all you'll find the threads do catch uh, and as we've seen previously on some close-ups when i've broken down a watch that that's due to just swarf in there it's poor machining uh, on the actual crown tube but it does work but you can definitely feel it catching and it as i said quite gritty in action the case profile is nice as well uh, it's not too wide i do like how the logs taper in uh, so again a beautifully executed case moving on to the case back plain and simple case back from pagani design with specifications no crazy messages nothing out of the ordinary just basic what you want to see pd1766 is the model number stamped on the back now before we move any further let's have a look at the loom i know some of you guys are itching to see if they have this time around made it better uh, but let's see what they've done so with regards to loom definitely nothing to write home about however you can see the markers and you can see the hands the handset is c3 it's definitely stands out it's by far has had the most loom application uh, they do definitely stand out on this watch however the hour markers are quite thin um not as prominent it's not very bright but for the watch it is uh, it will be visible which is uh, i think a step in the right direction so let's pay a bit more attention to the bracelet um i mentioned earlier so the bracelet has been finished with polishing on the sides and brushing on the center links the links themselves do move around quite a bit uh, and that's because you do have split pins as i suspect um but these bracelets do have a fair bit of flex in there anyway um, and i don't think that's much of a problem because i do find these flexible bracelets are quite comfortable on wrist in terms of the brushing down the center it is very finely brushed hairline brushing definitely because you can see those lines however it, they look messy uh, it's not perfectly straight or uniform as you'll see on much um, you know higher brands on aliexpress you can just see how these lines you know they they, they are somewhat in the same direction um, but you can tell someone's just basically you know been doing that with it rather than going on a machine and in a straight fashion you can see just some of that messiness there um it is visible it is visible but from a distance you actually can't see the finer hairline so i suppose it's okay few minute end links which is really good uh Pagan design have come a long way with the bracelets they've tried to kind of improve them as they go along the bracelets aren't that sharp on a lot of their watches um even on these links you can see they've been rounded off on the edges which is really good to see uh and then the butterfly clasp I've already mentioned they are flimsy in operation um however you know they do suit the overall finish give it that you know seamless look so overall and so far uh, i think they've done a very good job 65 pounds i'm struggling to find any real issues to complain about even the loom it's not a big thing as i said it is visible obviously it's not going to be amazing um but you know still better than what we've had so let's get this on wrist let's size it up and let's see how it looks with this stunning blue dial so the pd 1766 on my six and a half inch wrist and it's a beautiful fit the 48 millimeter log to log by that 40 millimeter diameter is just spot on for the six and a half inch wrist of course it'll fit good on other wrists as well the female end links are a massive plus good wrap around on the wrist and uh, the case fits quite central uh, and the bracelet isn't too bad uh, like i said that brushing can be visible sometimes um, but it actually isn't that bad or so there is a lot of extra links on this bracelet which is good um, and yeah overall like i can't fault it guys it looks good on wrist uh, the proportions are good 
Um, I do like the design, as I said earlier. There's nothing functionally which I think is wrong with this watch at all. In terms of quality, again, no sharp edges, nothing that kind of stands out. Um, as I mentioned, the, the, the gritty crown, but you know, you do expect that at such a low price point. So, final verdict, it's a good watch. Pagani design PD1766. If you haven't got one and you like the design, go ahead, get yourself one. Go for the blue dial, green dial, black dial, whichever one that you fancy. So, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video.